My name's Alfie, I'm 14 years old, and I live with my two brothers and my parents. I love playing rugby. I'm quite a shouty person when it comes to sport. Last year, I was diagnosed with a condition called chronic granulomatous disorder. CGD is a genetic disorder, which I got from birth. It's a really rare condition where only one in 250,000 people have it. Having CGD means that some of the white blood cells in my blood don't make the natural disinfectant my body needs to fight off the infections. This means that when some certain um, bacteria or fungi come into the body, I can't fight them off, making me seriously ill, or in some extreme cases, they may kill me. I found out I had CGD because last year I had a serious case of pneumonia and they tried a load of antibiotics to try cure it, but none of it was working. So they ended up running a lot of tests. When I got diagnosed with CGD, it was a big shock for me and my family. We were intrigued to find out what could we do, but the only thing we can do to cure it is a bone marrow transplant. It's a big thing, and I know that. I'm lucky that science and technology has gone that far in order to cure me. Being in hospital, it can make you feel quite bad sometimes, knowing like it makes you feel quite down when you see people, you know, you know, haven't got the hair because of the chemotherapy. There's so many people who've gone through long periods of illness in their life, like I have. My name is Vicky Grandage. I'm one of the adolescent transplant consultants. Chemotherapy is something tagged with cancer, but now I have to take this in order to get rid of CGD. It does make you lose your hair, but I don't really mind, you know, you just gotta get on with it. Likely during this time that you're gonna go off your food, and actually getting back to eating and drinking is one of the things that takes a while afterwards. I've been on the chemotherapy today for a long time, for a good 12 hours, and I've still got a good five hours and 24 minutes to go. I'm about to take my anti-sickness tablets, and it's only four today, when I usually have a lot more, like earlier I had eight, and I've got my fruit smoothie here to take it with, so it goes down nice and easy. He's had quite a bit of kind of nausea and sickness today. He has been awake and he's had a little bit to eat. I'd like to travel the world. And traveling the world with this condition be a bit hard. It's good that I'm having the transplant because I can do all the stuff I can do. But I think the main thing I'm looking forward to is just getting it over with, it's not having it anymore. That first day when I came out of hospital, it was, it was really good and what, like one of the best days ever. That hospital room, tiny room, feels like your home. It's, it's incredibly weird. It just generally feels like I have come a long way. Although I'm back home, I still do have to be careful about where hygiene is. I can't go near anyone who's been ill within like the past 48 hours because they could pass on like a cough or a cold to me. I still have to take tablets, which is pretty annoying, but I've been doing it for quite a while now and you, you kind of get used to it, but it won't be long until finally off them. I'm seeing my friends as often as I can. Luckily enough now it's some holidays, so I can see them really often, which is really good. Another thing I'm looking forward to is definitely my sports. Rugby, cannot wait. As soon as I can play a full match of rugby, then I'll know that I have passed BMT and it's all behind me and I can just continue with my life now. That'd be really good, looking forward to that. 
definitely worth having the BMT just to just to get rid of that condition. It's definitely worth it. I'm CGD free now. It's just making my life a whole lot easier. All right, hang on, let me do it.